Edward Colston was a merchant and slave trader who also gave money to many English charities. He was born on 2nd November 1636 and died on 11th October 1721. Colston still has a positive reputation as one of the Bristol's most generous charity donators. Whilst he was alive, he gave money to many of Bristol's schools, almshouses and hospitals and restored a number of churches. However, Colston worked for Royal African Company who traded in slaves and he was also a wealthy sugar merchant with investments in the Caribbean island of St. Kitts. There are two schools in Bristol which were closely linked with the Society Merchant Venturers. They are Colston's Schools for Boys, now Colston's Collegiate, and Colston's Girls' School. Colston's School for Boys was started by Edward Colston in 1708. Edward Colston is also remembered in the city by Colston Avenue, Colston Street, and Colston Hall. In his mid-40s, Colson became prominently involved in Britain's sole official slaving company at the time, the Royal African Company (RAC). Colson served the company for a dozen years as a major investor, manager and deputy governor. During this time, 84,500 enslaved Africans were transported on RAC ship, with 23% dying before reaching shore. This included women and children as young as six, each enslaved person was branded with the company's initials on their chest. To maximize profit, the ship's hulls were divided into holds with little headroom so they could transport as many enslaved people as possible. The unhygienic conditions, dehydration, dysentery and scurvy killed nearly 20,000 enslaved Africans during the crossing. Their bodies were thrown overboard. 12,209 of captives were children of 10 years or below. One in four children died in route. Archival research by Reverend Wilkins in the 1920s showed that Colson served actively on all of the major managing committees of the RIC. He left the company just before its gradual financial decline. 